led by the sural nerve sural artery the group 2 muscles are having a dominant pedicle and some small articular pedicles the example of group 2 muscle which is supplied by a dominant arterial pedicle and some small pedicles is the gracilis the muscle of the lower limb which is supplied by the medial circumflex artery medium circumflex artery there are some muscles which are supplied by the multiple small pedicles these are grouped in the group 3 muscles the example is the rectus abdominis these types of muscles are supplied by two dominant two dominant arterial pedicles this type is rectus abdominis which is supplied by the superior and inferior epigastric arteries superior and inferior epigastric arteries and inferior epigastric arteries and the gluteus maximus which is supplied by the superior and inferior gluteal arteries the fourth group muscles are supplied by the multiple small segmental pedicles the straight rectus long muscles are supplied by different pedicles of different arteries at different segments and these types of arteries are seen in the sartorius and the tibialis anterior muscle the fifth type of the muscles or group fifth muscles are supplied by a dominant single arterial pedicle and multiple many small arterial pedicles <coughs> from the different arteries the latissimus dorsi latissimus dorsi which is supplied by the thoraco dorsal artery and thoraco lumbar artery pedicles so muscles are divided in five groups according to their blood supply muscles are metabolically very very active so richly supplied by the blood and the nutrients Now I will talk about the nerve supply of the muscle. The nerve, the nerve supplying the skeletal muscle is known as motor nerve. But frankly speaking, this is not motor nerve. This is a mixed nerve. 60% fibers of the motor nerve are motor or efferent. Or efferent are 60%. And afferent or sensory are 40% fibers. So a typical motor nerve is having 60% efferent or motor fibers and 40% or afferent fibers. So this is the mixed nerve but supplying the 
motor of body that is the skeletal muscle motor is skeletal muscle so known as motor nerve but it is a mixed nerve dominantly having the motor or the efferent fiber there are three types of the motor fibers in the skeletal muscle the alpha fiber the fiber controlling the skeletal muscles and providing the action potential to contract the muscle are the alpha neurons these are thick myelinated thick myelinated neurons known as alpha these are the big neurons in the anterior horn of the spinal cord the comparatively thin and myelinated fiber are known as gamma fiber the gamma fiber and third type of fiber in the motor fibers are the thin or i can say fine non myelinated fibers these fibers are post ganglionic these fibers are post ganglionic sympathetic fibers supplying the smooth muscles of the vessels of the muscle so there are three types of efferent or motor fibers in a motor nerve the thickest and heavily myelinated fibers are known as the alpha neurons or alpha axons the comparatively thin but not very thin and having myelination are known as gamma fibers and fine non myelinated fiber supplying the smooth muscles of the vessels in a muscle are the post ganglionic sympathetic fibers the sensory fibers of a skeletal muscle are the two types of fiber the first types are the thick myelinated fiber the sensory is also having two types of fiber first types are thick myelinated fiber carrying the sense of position the sense of proprioception are thick myelinated fibers especially a alpha and a beta fibers a alpha and a beta fibers bringing the sense of proprioception to the dorsal horn of the spinal cord are the thick fibers and having myelination and the thin non myelinated fibers or i can say fine non myelinated fibers are the c fibers c fibers bringing the pain temperature and pressure so fine non myelinated c fibers so this is the types of fibers in the motor nerve which is having 60% motor and 40% sensory fiber the sensory and organ of the skeletal muscle is known as muscle spindle 
और दी सेंसरी एंड ऑर्गन नॉन एज मसल स्पिंडल ए मसल इज हैविंग लॉन्जिट्यूडली अरेंज मसल फाइबर माइसाइट और द मसल सेल्स यू हैव सीन इन माई लास्ट लेक्चर ऑलरेडी दिस इज द बेली और फ्लैशी पार्ट ऑफ मसल इट इज हैविंग द लॉन्जिट्यूडली अरेंज मसल फाइबर These are the longitudinally arranged muscle fibers in a skeletal muscle. Some fibers, some fibers in a muscle are specially specialized fibers, special fibers in the skeletal muscle. So some fibers are special fibers inside the muscle, and the arrangement of fibers. in the specialized fiber are parallel to the known specialized fiber of a muscle listen again the muscle is having longitudinally arranged muscle fiber or my fiber inside the muscle some fiber are specialized and parallel to the known specialized fiber and covered by a fibrous capsule so here is the fibrous capsule and these specialized fibers inside the capsule are known as the intrafusal fiber intra fusal fiber the fibers of the muscle the longitudinal fibers of the muscle which are not specialized are known as extra fusal fibers so these fibers are extra fusal fiber this specialized covered by capsule fibrous capsule this part is known as muscle spindle or the sensory and organ of a muscle so here you can see the muscle spindle it is spindle shaped so known as muscle spindle it is the sensory and organ it is having Eight to fourteen fibers, known as intrafusal fibers, some large fibers, and rest of fibers are small. These large fibers of intrafusal fibers are in direct contact to the extrafusal or known specialized fibers. these are having fusiform appearance and bag like appearance so known as nuclear bag fiber bag fiber and some fibers four to six fibers are small fiber chain like thin fiber not having a middle dilated or fusiform part and nuclei are arranged in a chain like manner so these are known as nuclear chain fibers so intrafusal fibers 8 to 14 in number are divided into parts the large fibers 8 to 10 in number and fusiform appearance and centrally arranged nuclei are the nuclear bag fibers four to six fibers 
of intrafusal fibers are small and thin and chain like appearance of the nuclei these fibers are known as nuclear chain fibers so inside the muscle spindle covered by capsule having nuclear back fiber and nuclear chain fiber and the large nuclear back fibers are in direct contact to the extra fusel fiber to balance the contraction of extra fusel and intra fusel fiber so the innervation of muscle spindle how the muscle spindle or the sensory and organs are innervated by the sensory and the motor fiber here i will draw the muscle spindle these are the nuclear bag large fibers in direct contact to the extra fusel fiber and here we can see the small nuclear chain fiber not in direct contact to the intra fusel fiber now listen carefully the innervation of skeletal muscle is very very important if you are working as a clinician or a surgeon so here is the cross section of the spinal cord and here you will see the dorsal horn and the ventral horn this is the dorsal horn of the spinal cord this is the central canal of the spinal cord and here are big alpha neurons and the small gamma neurons and this is the lateral horn having the preganglionic sympathetic fibers now the motor root of the spinal cord bringing the alpha neurons or axons of the alpha neurons the gamma neurons and after synapsing in the sympathetic chain the post ganglionic sympathetic fibers these fibers are collectively forming the 60% innervation of the motor supply of the muscle it is having alpha neurons gamma neurons and the post ganglionic sympathetic non myelinated axons and these are the extra fusel fibers on this is very tiny part of the muscle the muscle spindle these alpha neurons the thick axons having heavily myelination are innervating the extra fusel fibers so these are innervating the extra fusel fibers the nuclear back fibers and nuclear chain fibers are innervated by the gamma axons so gamma is innervating the intrafusal fibers and the sensory innervation is by primary sensory endings and the secondary sensory endings so in the periphery of the muscle spindle the fibers bringing the sensory information to the spinal cord or in case of 
head and neck skeletal muscles through the cranial nerves. Here is the pseudo unipolar axons in the posterior root ganglion. So the fiber of the sensory axons bringing the sense from the ends of the muscle spindle are the secondary sensory endings also known as floor spray endings. So these are the secondary sensory endings or known as floor spray endings. On the other hand, the central part of the muscle spindle is innervated by the primary sensory endings of the sensory axons known as annulospiral endings. So from the central part, the sensory fiber carrying the sense to the posterior horn and the dorsal horn are the primary sensory endings or known as annulo spiral endings. So this is about the nerve supply of a cardiac muscle innervated by 60% motor fibers coming from the ventral or anterior horn and having alpha neurons, gamma neurons. It is also having the post ganglionic fiber from the sympathetic chain to innervate the smooth muscles of the vessels of the skeletal muscle. 40% fiber are the sensory fiber having thick myelinated fiber bringing the sense of position and proprioception and the C fiber bringing pain touch temperature. C fibers are tiny fine fibers having no myelination. So a typical motor nerve is having 60% motor and 40% sensory fiber. the part of muscle where the nerve and the vessels are entering this is the part of muscle where the arteries entering veins leaving and the nerves are entering or I can say the sensory nerves are leaving the muscle. This part is known as the neurovascular hyla. Neurovascular hyla or I can say hilum of the muscle. The part of the muscle where the nerve is entering inside the muscle, this part is known as motor and or this is known as motor point. So motor point is the entering part of motor nerve inside the muscle and it is inside the neurovascular hyla. So I can say motor point is a point in the skeletal muscle where the nerve is entering, entering inside the muscle. Yeah. 
motor unit what is a motor unit or myon or also known as myon this is very very important myon what is myon what is motor unit what is motor point and what is motor and plate and what is sole and plate so first i will explain the motor unit here you can see the transverse section of the spinal cord this is the ventral horn and here are the dorsal horn these are the cross sections of the muscle fibers inside a muscle parallelly arranged and having these tricens and here are the alpha neurons in the ventral horn not in the dorsal horn dorsal horn is sensory horn and the sensory fibers are entering in the dorsal horn so ventral horn is having alpha gamma and some other neurons an alpha neuron inside the ventral horn and the axon of alpha neuron one alpha neuron will give origin to one axon thick myelinated axon the one alpha neuron and its axon innervating multiple muscle fiber listen again the ventral horn of spinal cord is having large alpha neurons alpha neurons are supplying the extra fusal muscle fibers a single alpha neuron and its axon supplying the multiple muscle fibers here you can see this is supplying this supplying this one this and this alpha neuron its axon and the fibers supplied by the single axon of alpha neuron is known as motor unit or myon what is motor unit alpha neuron its axon and the number of muscle fibers supplied by the single alpha neuron this group is known as the motor unit or the myon the size of motor unit is different in different muscles it depends on the type of movement and type of action of the muscle in case of the extra ocular muscles in case of the small muscles of the fingers we can see the small motor unit or myon where the single axon is supplying only 5 to 10 muscle fibers so alpha neurons forming the motor unit small units that is 8 to 10 fibers are supplied by the some the single axon it is seen in the muscles acting as the precise movements and the fine movements like the muscles of the eyes that is extra ocular muscles and the muscles of the thumb and the small muscles of the hand where more precision is needed but in case of muscles involved in the gross movements like the gluteus maximus and the muscles of thigh single alpha neuron is innervating more than 2000 muscle fibers so large alpha or motor units are seen where it is supplying 
1000 to more than 2000 fibers as in it is seen in the gluteus maximus and it is also seen in the muscles of thigh so what is a motor unit it is alpha neuron its axon and the all muscle fibers supplied by the same axon is a motor unit the axon before entering the axon when this axon enters inside the muscle from the motor point this lugates its myelin sheath so when this axon is entering inside the muscle it is losing its myelin sheath and when the fiber or the process of this axon axon is divided in many processes at the terminal end so the single fiber entering in the muscle fiber lugates its swan seal sheath swan sheath also so this is the motor unit now i will talk about the motor and plate so what is a motor and plate this is the place of the muscle fiber here I will draw the big diagram the terminal part of the axon is divided in many small processes these are dilated parts and these parts are terminating on the part of muscle fiber the convoluted part of the muscle fiber here the the part of axon entering in the muscle fiber this part is known as motor and plate and the junction formed between the part of the axon and the part of the muscle fiber this is known as myoneural junction or synaptic cleft this part is the synaptic cleft and this junction is known as myoneural junction or neuromuscular junction so this is known as neuro muscular junction or also known as myo neural junction and this part is known as synaptic cleft the terminal dilated part of the axon is having presynaptic vesicles and the mitochondria these presynaptic vesicles are having the chemicals working as neurotransmitters and this part of the muscle or the sarcolima of the muscle fiber having convolutions it is known as the sole plate and it is rich in the mitochondria and the sarcoplasmic reticulum the part of axon again listen again the part of axon